Hi, welcome to Coders Digest. And today we are going to discuss another feature in coding technique that will be very helpful when you are dealing with the categorical variables. And this particular technique is called count and also sometimes referred as frequency encoding. Okay. So uh, as you can see on my screen and you might be having some idea that what we do in this. So for an example, I have taken this category of colors and here I have red, green, yellow. So you can see on the screen that uh, we have three occurrences of red color, four occurrences of green color, and then one occurrence of yellow color. So in this particular encoding technique, what we do that we uh, update or we encode the particular category by the number of occurrence. So since the uh, uh, since we see that a category red has been occurred three times, so we will simply put three. Uh, 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 across the red category. So we will replace the uh, red category with three. Similarly, uh, if we see for green, there are four occurrences. So we will encode green by the number four. Okay. So, and similarly, you see the red, uh, yellow is occurred for only once. So we will encode it as one. So this is basically the technique as you can understand by the name count encoding. So what we do that we simply just take the counts of particular category or occurrence of particular category and we replace it by the number of occurrence of that particular category. Okay. And uh, I hope that will be making sense with this particular example. You can just take a look at it and it might be making sense that uh, we have simply done nothing but simply replaced it with the number of occurrence. So this way you can deal with your categorical variable and make them uh, in the integer or numerical format in order to feed to your model. Okay, so that's all right. And now uh, what I'll do that I will move towards Jupyter Notebook and we will see how we can do it in Python. All right, so let me open my Jupyter Notebook. I have my notebook open. So here it is. So first, uh, uh, first of all, guys, before proceeding to this script, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel and uh, also I have uh, made another video on one hot encoding so you can just I will recommend you to go there and check it out because that is also a very uh, important and used technique when it comes to encoding the categorical variable right okay so let's proceed and first of all what I have done that I have imported certain libraries which are pandas and I have uh, from scikit-learn I have uh, I have imported train test cell split okay so let me just run this particular cell and while it's running i have written the script here and i'm using the house price data set so this data set is very much available and uh, many of you might be aware of it so you can download it from kaggle or any other platform uh, it is available there so what i have done here that uh, since we are dealing with categorical variable I have uh, written or I have I am using the categorical variable so that you know it might be uh, helpful for you to follow through okay so these are my categorical variable and this is my target variable which is the sale price for this particular data set all right so let me run it and import my data so I have just run this cell and I, I have my data in this particular data variable and let me run it now so you can see that these are my cat all are my categorical variable except my target variable which is my sale price so it is basically the price of a particular house all right and these are the other categorical variables the amazoning street lot safe utilities water available utilities of that particular house so these are basically the if you want to check out the description of this data set you can surely go over the internet and you can check it out it is uh, very much available there all right so let me see if i have any uh, missing data in here so i do not have any missing data and guys if you have uh, if you wonder how to deal with missing data although we do not have in this particular data set but uh, if you want to see how to impute categorical or how to impute numerical data set i have separate videos created on those topics so i would highly encourage you to go to my other videos and check those out all right so for this particular uh, data frame, we are in luck and we do not have any missing data. All right. So now what I will do that I will uh, split my data set into a train and test set. So these are my uh, 
x variable and this is my uh, y variable which is also sometimes referred as uh, a target variable so uh, and i am uh, here providing that test size should be 30 percent so i am taking 30 percent out of my total data into test size and random state is 111 so you can set it as per your convenience and for as far as this particular code is concerned i will provide it in the description box so you can get it from there and run it all right so now let me run this cell and now i have my data in train test so let me see the head of my train data all right so let me also check the shape so we have uh, uh, 1022 rows and five columns so we see that we have five columns in the train data similarly if i proceed further than x test you can see that in the test data we have 438 rows and y, uh, five columns that seems good now i'll check my y train so you see that since uh, x train we have 1022 and so we have 1022 in my y train so y train is just my sales price all right so if you want to see then y train is my sales price let me just insert a column here and uh, let me just show you and you can check out that these are my sale price okay so now first of all let me show you what we do so i will first i will take just single variable and for the purpose of demonstration then we will take all the variable and do it by using a dictionary so that will save you some time and it will not be repetitive all right so how do we do this how what is this particular encoding technique what we do is that we simply uh, take a variable count uh, take the value counts of it and uh, and update it into a dictionary so what we do what does value counts do the value counts provide you the occurrence of a particular category simply what it does just what i showed you in the excel it provides you the category occurrence so for example the red has occurred three times so value count will provide you the count that in in the category the red has occurred three times so let me show you here so let me take out this dict to dict function as of now and let me show you so you see that add if i check it now then you see that rl is 814 and uh, rm is 141 so it shows that how many time a particular uh, variable has occurred so let me uh, just keep it the way and let me update it into a dictionary so now you see that i have created a dictionary where i have mapped a key and value so with the key of category rl i have mapped the value of occurrence of it so rl has occurred 814 times similarly rm has occurred 141 times similarly fps 48 times and that is the way now what i'll what we can do that we can simply map it to our category so what i'll do that I, for that purpose i will demonstrate it all the variables all together so i have taken my all categorical variables into one single variable which is called cat underscore vas okay so now please i would request you to pay your attention here since i have now my variables in this particular uh, cat underscore where list i have created this list now what i what i have done i have created a dictionary for this purpose i have created this dictionary and what i am doing here is i am uh, i am taking every variable and here i am doing the value counts all right or let me just take this length as of now out so what i am doing here is i am taking the count of every particular category and i am adding i am converting it to a dictionary and then i am mapping it so you see that uh, what i am doing here let me run this cell and then maybe it will make more sense so now what you can see that for every particular variable i have just mapped those with a uh, particular uh, those uh, occurrence of the category so for ms zoning you see here we have the variable ms zoning so for ms zoning for all the categories of ms zoning are now here so basically what i have done is that i have mapped those all together so i have taken a list of variables of categorical variables and then i have created a for loop and i have created a dictionary of value counts of every particular category so again if it is a little bit confusing for you do not worry just go to the description of this video and check out this code and try to run it and try to understand it all right so now i have this dictionary which contains the occurrence of uh, every particular category what i will do i will simply map it 
so in this step what i am doing so again i am running a loop and for every particular variable what i am doing is that i am simply running and you see that for every variable i'm just mapping it and i'm providing my dictionary name and my variable name so what i will what it will do that it will simply map the variable wherever it will find variable rl or category rl in the variable ms zoning it will simply replace it by 814 and similarly for other variables also so it will be uh, kind of all your variables categorical variables will now be converted into uh, your uh, numerical variables all right so now that you might not be facing that problem of categorical variables let me run it and what if i check it out now then you can see that 814 you can see that for uh, this particular variable we see that ms zoning has replaced this with uh, this uh, 814 so if you see so let me go earlier where i have uh, where i have printed the head of my uh, uh, train data before encoding it so you see that at at uh, at location uh, 529 uh, the ms zoning was rl all right and now if you see that at location index 529 i have the numerical value 814 and now if you go to my dictionary you see that rl was 814 all right so you see that rl occurrence was 814 or rl was appeared 814 times in this particular variable which is called ms zoning all right so now you might be uh, it might be making some sense what it is doing and similarly for utilities if i check for utilities and i go to my uh, data before uh, before you know uh, encoding it then you see that at 529 index or i see that utility was all pub okay and if i see here then utility all pubs occurrence or appearance was 1021 and similarly if you check it out then you see that it has a it has now encoded it as 1021 all right so now it might be making sense what it is doing all right now uh, one question might be coming in your mind that uh, the data you might find that let us say if we have another variable which is on a low scale let us say that has variable 1 2 3 4 now if i encode this then this might be creating some imbalance in the data because street is now representing as 1019 so uh, and that is a very fairly large number so what you can do that you might scale it down so you can uh, use an scaler and scale it down or what you can do that rather than using the value counts you can divide it by uh, your length of the data frame okay so what you can do that you can simply write x underscore train so what you are doing here that uh, first you are calculating the categories and then you are you know dividing it by the length of uh, available rows or available data in that particular data set so now it will automatically scale down your uh, scale down your uh, 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 variable or variable count so now let me run it all again and then you might see a very very different output okay so let uh, let it all run and now you see that it has already been scaled down to a uh, to a different label and these are all kind of scaled by by dividing the value counts divided by the length of the x train so that was i think 1022 the total number of rows were 1022 so those have been like whatever was the output has been now divided by the length of the data and this is the way basically we can encode our categorical variable and simply what you can do uh, you can use this particular dictionary to encode your test variables also so just you will you need to follow the same step this same step you need to do and not to do any calculation remember that always perform your calculations or uh, uh, what we see that always uh, do the mapping or count the mapping from the training set and then apply it on the test set so never again calculate it from the test set just use this particular dictionary which you have calculated from the tra train set and apply it on the test set so this is one thing which i will leave for you to try and let me know if you face any issue in the comment box what you have to do is simply at the x train you can now uh, use x underscore test and map your uh, categories with you know uh, map your categories and let me know sure so that is all about you know how we can encode our categorical variables 
if you like this video then please do not forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and uh, please do check out my other videos also okay thank you and i'll see you in another video of coders digest thank you very much